recently had a photo shoot with my husband, a DIY maternity photo shoot, which we have been doing since my first, since our first child. But this time, we want to level up. And I'm pretty much satisfied with the shots. They're not, um, not so bad. But the problem is, it's not perfect either because of the backdrop. Mainly because of the backdrop. We used a plain black backdrop. Had some wrinkles on it. And most of them are good. It's just that the, these wrinkles are so unacceptable. I tried to search for tutorials on YouTube how to get rid of these wrinkles and most of them requires the use of Photoshop and they are, although I'm a little bit knowledgeable with Photoshop, I find it very difficult to achieve it. It takes a lot of steps just to get rid of, the, of these wrinkles. So I discovered one photo editing tool that is available in Apple and Android devices and from that tool I was able to remove the wrinkles the unwanted wrinkles and was able to achieve this look so the wrinkles are gone I was even able to remove some unwanted marks on my face and improve the eye bags and add this layout here 100 days to go <laughs> like a week ago is 100 days ago to go before I give birth and even able to expand the background and that's what I want to share with you on this video let's start the app that I'm talking about it's called Snapseed. Here you go. Here. It's very easy to use. It's free, it's robust, and almost comparable with uh, Photoshop with minor um, editing you need and even complicated ones. You can achieve the results that you wanted. So on this project that we have, let's open my picture. I put it in under favorites for easy access because as you can see before, there are several pictures that we took and it might be difficult for us to find it. Okay, so this is the photo that I used there are several things that we want to achieve this mainly main one wrinkle free background here and since that day i wasn't wearing any makeup so my eye bags are so not so nice in the picture here i'm going to be using pencil to demonstrate but this application works even if you're just using your fingers so it works in mobile devices like android and apple devices after that we want to extend the background so we can put some text on it I, on my case i want to put the countdown 100 days to go after that or before that we also want this to be black and white so let's start with getting rid of these wrinkles. Snapseed, Snapseed is very easy to use. Right when you open the, an, a picture that you want to edit, you can see already some presets that you can use here. And you can see some changes already. And you can even make it black and white already, but still the background wrinkles are visible and you don't want that so the first one that we'll get rid of is the wrinkles we can do that with the use of this healing tool 
healing tool actually works as replicating the nearest area portion that you're touching so in this case if you're um, I don't know if you can see it but if you touch this wrinkle it's, it's gonna copy the portion be beside it which doesn't have any wrinkle and so voila wrinkle is gone and that's what I'm going to do for the rest of the picture and this is very easy to do actually you just need to be very care careful because you might duplicate like for example if I go very near to my hair it's gonna duplicate my hair here like so and you don't want that and you can un easily undo that here with the undo button And just like that, we're done. The next thing that we want to get rid of is the eye bags here. I know my tummy looks really stretchy, stretch marks here. I don't want to remove it because it's part of the pregnancy, I know, you know, it's like the mark of it. So I'll leave it as it is. Some may want to get rid of it and you can do so very easily with this tool. Okay, so because the eyes is a little bit small and it's more complicated, you have to be extra careful when healing it. If you want to see or check if you indeed make some improvements, you can press uh, there's a button here that you can uh, click or press and it's gonna show you the before and after. See? I don't know if it... Oops. See there? That's the before. And there's the after very nice and let's accept that change next thing that we want to do is to convert this to black and white we want to do that before we expand this just so the the area that we're going to duplicate again is already black and white already have a preset as i mentioned earlier you have four choices to choose from and the one that i like is fine art Okay, and I simply accept. For me personally, this is already looking very nice. Black and white, uh, clear, uh, wrinkle free background. But I want to send a message, or I want to put more effects on it. That's why we'll try to expand the background, which can easily be done with this tool there's a tool here called expand it works like healing also but it expands is not so you have three choices make black white what we want is the smart which actually copies the area beside it so if you click black when you expand expand this it's gonna be give you a black background but we don't want that because it's gonna give you a plain black background similar with white so we're gonna want to select smart and See, oopsie.
that it replicate my arm you can easily get rid of that by healing tool and then accept the change We have achieved the expansion of background. We have one last thing to do and that is to add text here, whatever you want. In my case, I want to put the countdown. Um, there's another tool here where you can add text. Here called text, text tool. color is pink style there are several choices in here but I want to choose M8 which is this one already and before you uh, accept the changes in the lower right corner you can drag this you can make this bigger or smaller and this is how I want it to be. Okay. This looks great. I love it. Accept uh, changes. You may want to check if it's balanced on the right side and on the left side. Accept change. And this is the final product that we have. Now, you, if you want to save this, um, you can click here and save a copy. And it's done.